Boston is in the midst of an early season four game win streak and features the hottest line in hockey, Bergeron, Marshawn, Pasternak. 30 points between three players, 11, 10, and 9 specifically. They're all among the top 10 in the NHL right now in points leading, and they look to keep things going against Johnny Hockey and the Calgary Flames in Calgary, all on primetime television on NBCSN. This is the Bruins Recap Show. So we start things off in the first period. It's two use two Ks, two Karask. He goes up against Mike Smith, and Mike Smith, man, I forgot how good he was at playing the puck, but we'll get into that later on. Uh, we start things off. It's Calgary who opens the scoring. A terrible pass here by um, David Pasternak. Was looking for Bergeron and just just threw it in an area where nobody was there. It's turned over. It goes to uh, Mike Matthew to Chuck. Gets it over to Marcus Backlund, uh, who gives it over to Michael Froelich, who has a wide open net. Just beautiful passing by this uh, this checking line of Calgary. And Froelich has all day in a wide open net. He puts it past one nothing Calgary. Uh, we go a little bit later in the first period, and Calgary, pressure, pressure, pressure. Speed, speed, speed. And it's a simple wrist shot from Hannafin. Monahan sweeps the rebound, and I don't know what Tukaras was doing because it's a simple, simple wrist shot from the point. All you got to do is cover the puck, just cover it, or you know have better rebound control. But instead, Monahan sweeps it. Johnny uh, Gaudreau is right there, puts in the rebound, puts it home. Two nothing Calgary, and that is the 100th career goal for the BC product, Johnny Gaudreau. So good, uh, good on him. Again, later on in the third or in the first period, and Calgary will make it three nothing as it's a rick uh, a shot that gets blocked finds its way to Yusuf Valamaki. I think I pronounced that right. It might be a first for me. Um, Tukaras gets a glove on it, but it kind of just trickles past him and goes in. Another Tukaras being. <laughs> Later on in the, th in the first period, it's David Pasternak. He gets a goal, or wait, does he? As Calgary will challenge on the offside rule, and the replay was pretty pretty blatant on this one. Um, Patrice Bergeron well offsides as Johnny Moore was trying to carry the puck in the play. Um, so that's going to be ruled no goal. And that was with about 2 minutes 30 left in the first period, and... Not a good period at all for your Boston Bruins as they go into the room trailing 3 to nothing on the road in Calgary. But we take it to the second period and Boston has some life. They kill a 5-on-3 power play. And Bergeron is back on the ice. Krejci takes it up, finds Bergeron. Good things happen when you go to the front of the net. Spinarama and puts it over the shoulder 3-1, Boston gets on the board here, um, but it might be a little bit too little too late. Immediate response from Calgary as Pasternak, another turnover, serving bowls everywhere for the other team as it's an own zone turnover, a defensive zone turnover. You can't make that mistake. Backlund finds Froelich, another wide open net for him. Second goal of the game, 4-1 Calgary. But there might be still a chance as Brad Marchand, uh, Pasternak carries the puck in, drops it back to Bergeron. Bergeron finds Marchand, who's right in the front. Snipe City! 4-2. Boston cutting the lead to two again. Um, but it'll be all for naught. They go to the third period and can't find the back of the net anymore. They pull the goalie and Matthew Tatuck will steal it with the empty netter. A 5-2 final as Boston falls to the Calgary Flames in Calgary in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, one of the coolest uh, arena names. Um, so they lose the first game of their Western Canada road trip. 
Um, and they were more for the most part, most uh, for the most part, outplayed and physically beaten up by the Calgary Flames. Especially that uh, checking line that was really in the face of the Bergeron line all night, just really just sandpaper and grit. It's like the big bad Bruins back in the day of 2011, 2010 when they won the cup. Like that's the way you guys used to play. Um, but it's a different team and they got speed and skill and they need to use it a bit more. Um, but they, they were physically dominated and outplayed from the get go. And can I just say what a difference Mike Smith in net made for Calgary as he was just playing the puck all game long. Like Bruins were trying to wrap it around the back of the net. There's Mike Smith fast up. Here comes Calgary down the other way. Trying to dump it in, Mike Smith comes out of his net, plays the puck, right up and off to the races, goes to the Calgary forecheck again. It was uh, a thing that Boston just didn't make an adjustment on at all throughout the entirety of the game. Uh, they did a lot of trying to dump the puck and chase, and it just uh, just came right back the other way because of Mike Smith playing the puck. Um, just a really good game for Mike Smith um, for Calgary. Uh, so Boston will need to shake this off as uh, they get another game against Connor McJesus and uh, the rest of the Edmonton Oilers, even though there's not really much of them except for Connor McDavid. Um, it's a team that Boston played really well against uh, when they were on home ice. Uh, they beat them last week 4-1, to one, so they get them tonight because I'm, uh, unfortunately, that game went late and I wanted sleep. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so side note from this, um, it's not a thing yet, but this is the second time on Wednesday night on net national televised NBCSN hockey game that the Boston Bruins have lost and looked not good. Um, so maybe that's something that this team needs to change. Hopefully they do. We'll see what happens going forward. Um, but it's tonight, it's Edmonton, it's Boston in Edmonton, so we'll see you then on the next Bruins Recap Show.